Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Digital Guru, where we specialize in smart data driven marketing. Today I am showing you a powerful way to leverage Google's AI Studio to automate tasks directly inside Google's sheet. If you are a marketer, business owner, or just someone who wants to automate and save time, you are going to love this. In this tutorial, we'll be using Google Sheets to work with random numbers and a combined product name and location columns. We are going to automate two main tasks with the power of AI. Colorize numbers greater than 200 to visually stand out, separate product names and locations into two columns all using. So let's get started. Google's AI Studio is a powerful platform that lets you create custom models to automate repetitive tasks and optimize workflows. It's a user-friendly tool and today we will use it to handle our Google Sheet task. Go to this link and where you can create custom models without needing to write code. Once you are there, go to stream road line and click on share every screen. You can see the other functions and you can use those functions in your necessary work. So you can also uh, take their API from Google AI. So yes, click on share every screen and choose the tabs you want to uh, solve or your sheet have in this column. So sometimes they take the server systems, they take the servers and it took a little bit time. So you have to be patient. Let's see. Can you I'm hear going. me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help? I want to automatically highlight or colorize the number greater than 200 in my Google Sheet for better visibility. How can I do this? I can help you with that. In order to automatically highlight numbers greater than 200 in your Google Sheet, you can use conditional formatting. Would you like to know how to set that up? Uh, no, I don't. Can you please show me how can I do this? Okay, to set up conditional formatting, first select the column of numbers you want to apply it to. Then in the top menu, click Format and select Conditional Formatting. A pane will open on the right. Click the Add Another Rule button. In the Format Rules section, choose Greater Than as your rule, and then enter 200 in the value box. Now choose what color you want the cell to be, and that should be it. Would you like me to clarify any part of that process? Yeah, should I implement this? Yes, you should implement that and it looks like you have already configured the conditional formatting rule to highlight cells that contain a number greater than 200. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Yes, now I want that if, if the number is more than greater than 200, the color will be yellow. How can I do this? I see. To change the highlight color to yellow, you can click on the fill color option which is right below the formatting style section and select yellow. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Okay, great. Now I want to separate product names and great. locations which are in the same column in number C into two distinct columns. How can I do this? Okay, I understand. You want to separate the product name and location that are currently in the same column into two separate columns. To do this, you can use the split text to columns feature. Do you want me to guide you through how to do it? Yes, please. Okay, to use the split text to columns feature, first select the column you want to split. Then go to the data tab in the top menu and select split text to columns. A dialog box should appear where you can specify the separator. In this case, the separator looks to be a hyphen, so you would enter a hyphen in the separator box. Then you will see that your column data will be split into two columns. Would you like me to explain anything further? Okay, thanks. It already separated. Great. 
Looks it like you have successfully split the product name and location into two separate columns using the split text to columns feature. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, can you please show me again how can I separate this? Yes, I can help you with that. It looks like you want to separate the product name and location which are currently in the same cell. You can use the split text to columns feature like we did before. First, you'll need to select the cell you want to split. Then go to the data tab and select split text to columns and choose the separator which appears to be the hyphen and it will split the selected cell. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Yeah, great. Thank you very much. You can see the chat from the tabs that you already completed with the AI model. It will help you to understand what you talk with the AI. So yes, that's the AI. Google AI Studio, which is very, very interesting AI tool in this era, like you and me. Every digital marketer, every kind of platform need this kind of AI. So that's a great, 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 great tools as I have ever seen. At Digital Grow, we help businesses optimize every part of their business digital presence from, from like to scale up Google Ads, email automation, and every kind of business solution we can handle. If you want to work with us, visit digitalgrow.com where you can contact through WhatsApp, email, and contact form. Also, you can schedule a meeting with us. So if you feel this video will help you, click subscribe. Like, hit a like button and enable the bell icon. Thank you so much.